A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. These words of Jesus come on the eve of his death. And they may appear a little contradictory. The ruler of this world, he says, has no power over me. And yet it's the ruler of this world that is going to have Jesus arrested only moments after this speech. It's the ruler of this world that is going to condemn Jesus to death. And the very next day he will die on the cross. It might seem that the ruler of this world has total power over Jesus. But that isn't the case, at least for the author of the fourth gospel from which this passage comes. And I hope that it isn't the case for us, at least in one sense, spiritually or theologically. John, in his gospel, is very clear that Jesus triumphs from the cross. For him, the ultimate moment of vindication is not Easter Sunday, it's Good Friday. That's why it's John's account of the Passion that is always read in church on Good Friday. Easter Sunday is the proof, if you like, the proof for us mere mortals who are sometimes a little slow. Easter Sunday is the proof that love has won arms outstretched on the cross. So Jesus tells his followers, don't be troubled. Here is the peace that I give you which is not as the world gives you. And the world is in a complicated place. This month has been, I think, in some ways dominated by the gradual reopening of different parts of the world and different parts of this nation, the gradual easing of lockdown restrictions. When the pandemic began and we and all the world went into lockdown, I think there was a brief moment when naively and simply we probably thought that there would be a glorious and very simple moment when the restrictions would be lifted and we'd go back to something like normal. But of course that hasn't been the case and we have seen different approaches to easing restrictions in different parts of the world and we've seen the very ugly side of self-interest and vested interest come out as people with different political ideologies either support or condemn gradual or not so gradual reopenings. There have been some very ugly scenes of which I think we have all been conscious. Jesus is saying, I'm trying to show the world that I love the Father. And we who are Jesus' followers, we need to show the world at this point which is a very critical point, I think. We need to show the world by our deeds, by what we say, by every aspect of our life. We need to show the world that we love the Father. We need to show the world something about the peace which Jesus bestows, which is very different sometimes to how the world behaves. It's a lesson we need to make sure we have learnt in our own lives and that we can demonstrate fully and clearly to the world around us. Amen.